Hello there, Faithful Few, and welcome back to DMS Adventures, where my dad needs an intervention for his tent obsession. Yeah, everybody has their thing, right? Mine just happens to be tents. I think I've managed to keep it relatively under control though. I only have five at the moment and they all have their specific purpose. But in today's video, I've got something a little bit different in the tent category to show you. This is the Cinch hub. Now it is like a hybrid between a pop-up shelter and a pop-up tent and we plan on using it in both ways. So in today's video this is just going to be kind of an unpackaging and show you what all is in it and then we are also going to set it up for the very first time. Now just like in my original Cinch 4-man pop-up tent video I have never set this up before I have only watched a couple videos that are put out by Cinch themselves and similar case with this one, I haven't been able to find any other videos of any third party people doing a review or even a look at this thing. So that is what we're doing for you today. So the Cinch Hub comes in weighing at about 25 pounds and that includes a ground sheet and the inner tent. So although you're not gonna be doing any backpacking with this bad boy, it does include some straps on the back here, just so it's a little easier to carry, say as you're walking from your vehicle to the campsite, and certainly going from the parking lot to the soccer fields, this certainly makes it a little handier to carry. So let's open this up and see what you get. First up, here is the hub ground sheet. Comes in its own bag. Yeah, typical tarp ground sheet. Um, bottom of a tent type of material. Got two crisscrossing straps here just to hold its shape because it is a pop-up tent, therefore it wants to pop up. Here's a bag for the hub inner tent. And here's the inner tent itself. Okay, here's the main body of the hub and it's circular shape. Then one thing that I think is great about the Cinch product line is they give you a ton of extras. So first up are these just little st stick things. These are apparently for the solar feature, which I did not get, um, but there's a pocket in the top of the Cinch hub where these go in to kind of just make it a little more sturdy for you to put your solar panel in. Here's a little fix it kit comes with some seam sealer, uh, some patches for holes, and a fair amount of extra um, plastic pieces. These are primarily for the guy lines, um, in case you get any breaks in it. Got some replacements here. Also comes with these little collars that are for repairing the poles in case you were to get a break. Next, the Cinch Hub comes with 29 stakes. They are just shepherd hook stakes in this fun orange. They're branded cinch, just aluminum. A little better than your typical, I believe. Um, they got a hexagon shape to them and you get 29. And then lastly, for the extras, you get these little cinch light bulbs. Just turn them on. These hang over each entrance. As there are four entrances to the Cinch Hub, you get four lights. All right, so now let's go set this bad boy up. Okay, so this isn't a ground sheet, at least in the classic sense where the tent already has a like a bathtub floor in it and then you're just laying a tarp down for protection. The hub itself has no floor. 
So when you put it up, it's just the grass underneath. This is kind of a, an inner floor that you can put in after the fact. And the tent is apparently something completely different than hangs inside. So I'm really stoked to find out what this thing actually looks like when I'm done. These things always make me a little bit nervous because they just want to blow up. And it's wanting to look at her. And... Ah, okay, that wasn't too bad. There is a color coordinated dealio for staking this thing out. And there's one of them, it's a red one. I believe you do the red ones first. So let's find the red one. There's one. Interesting. Hey folks, I'm learning right along with you here. So I found the second red one here. Stake that. Next, I believe there's a black one. Need another stake. There most definitely is a learning curve with these tents, but I still love them. Okay, so I had to reposition the camera there to show the last step, I believe. There is an orange tag in here, right here. Take that, and then you pull this middle part out. Okay, we're getting there. I have the distinct impression I did this in the wrong order. Probably should have reviewed the video. One cool feature here is there are these little floor mats that are also attached. You can use all four of them if you're only going to have, or if you're only going to have one main point of entry. Only really need one. So here are the entry mats. Right up here is a mesh so that water can get through there in case of rain so you're not tracking too much inside. The other thing these floor mats do, it would seem, is to help to really pull out the full square footage of the floor on the inside. And these vestibules that stick out have these zippers to tighten everything up here. And then you probably need the reason why they zip is you need to release the tension for everything to fold back up. So here is the part of the guy out system. They've got some elastic here to hold your guy lines. It's a nice way to have them not hanging and flopping everywhere. Those extra pieces um, that I showed you before, here's an extra ring piece and here's an extra um, I don't even know what you call these. The guy line holder tension thingies. So this ring here lets you be guying out two spots with one stakeout point. It's pretty much the case with anything new. It can take a little while to get it figured out. Sometimes things are just intuitive. And then they're fast right away. Other things can be fast, but it takes you a little bit to figure them out. So far, my experiences with the Cinch products are that it takes a while to figure them out, but once you do, they're super quick. So the amount of time you spend guying this thing out completely depends on the weather and what kind of wind conditions you're expecting but it can be guide out fully like i can't see this thing going anywhere even in strong winds if it's fully guide out so you got two on every side so there's eight there guy and those out and then you have some 
uh, in each corner as well. So you're looking at two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve guy out points if you need them. Then the final thing for these vestibule pieces, there's a little bit of elastic down here on the bottom. Just bring this down and stretch it over your stake. So I'm gonna finish wrapping up the setup here and then we'll take you inside. Okay, so let's head on in. So you don't get really any wider than these doors. Then, what I think again is just a, a hallmark of cinch is they really seem to think of everything. And these doors, as big as they are, you really don't want them flopping around everywhere if you want them open. So they got a pocket right here to stuff the door in. Pretty slick. All right, so here we are inside the hub. I am right at six foot and my hat is, is brushing the top. So I can stand up fully and comfortably. Let's see what else I can show you. Ah, so we've got our mesh screen sitting here kind of on the floor again. And just like on the outside, there's a pocket on the inside as well. Now you have got this just nice big open door. And this gray strap kind of just keeps the tension uh, across the corners and you know whether or not you pitched it well. Apparently I didn't do too good a job. There's a lot of slack in this. Could be pulled tighter in both directions. Okay, hey, let's go get some of the fun stuff. We're going to get the floor that goes in here. We're also going to get the lights and hang them up and see what they look like. Okay, now for these little sticks that I mentioned before. They are part of the solar setup. So this zipper up here is where the solar panel would go. Unzip that and we come up here. You can see back in there, there is just this little receptacle, I guess is probably a lot less difficult with two hands. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna take two hands. Hold on. Alrighty, so I got those sticks in there now. You got a nice firm kind of platform for your solar panel to sit on. So as far as hooks and loops go on the inside, you have plenty. Here's a loop for your light. And another, and another, and another. Now this is where you would put your battery in and the wire from your solar charger would come from here down into here. This is where the battery goes, I believe. And then over here is where your phone or whatever it is that you're charging up would go. And these are Velcroed. You got one big pocket behind, one big pocket in front, and see-through right here. Then each corner has an additional loop here. Come on down, they actually got one here, and then one at the bottom, or lower I should say, and then one, actually two, down here at the very bottom. Here are the Velcro pieces uh, to put the ground sheet in. Now for the ground sheet. So here are the Velcro parts and the toggles to securely connect everything in the corners. Here's the toggle. I believe it goes through this little ring. And then just Velcro that down. Coming along down the side here, you see they got another piece of Velcro there. And a matching one on the ground cloth. I'll go ahead and put the rest of this in.
Welcome out, mister. Step inside and say hi to everybody. It's not a bathtub bottom. So this is mainly to keep off, you know, if there is a little bit of gooiness underneath, it can help to keep your things clean on the inside, but for rain and actually camping in it, as opposed to using it for just like a day shelter, that is what the inner tent is for. So let's try and put that up now. <laughs> no, I'd rather you not break it. We have got the inner tent set up. And if any of you have seen my cinch four-man tent review, this is kind of a similar concept in that the inner tent just kind of hangs from the outer tent. Welcome out, Mr. is in there making sure everything's safe before I come in. So if you were to decide in investing in the outer hub or the outer shell of the hub, used it for a while and then decided that you'd like to make a tent out of it, you can. I'm gonna see what the dimensions inside this thing are. About 82 inches of floor space in one direction, about 84 inches of floor space in the other direction. More or less 49 square feet. And generally speaking, I can still stand up in it. His head's uh, brushing the inner tent a little bit. Not a big deal. In each corner, we got pockets. Then there are four doors inside as well. Four. Then they also give you access up there to that solar area. And then you got one hook up here for hanging a light or something to that effect. So as you can see, it just hooks in with these elastic pieces here and the loops go through the rings on the outer tent and there are three locations going up and then it's hooked down here into the outer shell as well. So with the inner tent you get the full bathtub floor going all the way around on the inside. Okay, so I got the tent down from the inside. I got everything unhooked, took those two little sticks out of the top, and we are ready to try and put this thing down. So the first thing that you do is unzip the vestibule zippers. That is these things. Oh, and unhook them from the bottom. Okay, all that's been loosened up. Now we take out the stake on the orange stake point. Bring them out, mister. Here's another stake. You gotta poop me right in the head with that. Because you might go into my brain. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. Okay, so the first thing we do is where this orange loop is. Remember, we pulled it out from the middle and now we're gonna push it in. <laughs> A 
we've got that all the way in now next is the black stake point yeah. what about the other stakes? well here's the next one let me tell you if i see another one well i got two more to do watch out i'm going to fold this in so then this folds in on itself and falls down Yep, and then we take out the red stake points. There's one, another one's over here. Found it first. Good job. Then we wanna fold all the extra stuff up inside the tent body. That would be the, the mats and the loose. Oh, I forgot to put those back together. Whoops. I'll regret that the next time I take it apart. So next up, you're supposed to position yourself at the top of the tent here. And gather up the poles. Now there are these yellow pieces with these yellow bits of fabric. You can see them right here and here. And you gather them and you fold them and get the yellow between these orange strips right here. And to reposition that for you. So you got these yellow parts, this yellow material between these two orange strips. Got my knees on the outside. that over there and then fold this what well, a cricket kind of is a bug Oh, crickets don't suck your blood. Yep. Okay, so now. What happens if you touch a wasp? Nothing happens if you touch it. You might get angry and sting you. Oh, no, it's wasp. So, let's see. Okay, so now we got this yellow strap here that we pull tight to help keep it together and in its circular shape and then hey mister can you go get me that yellow one please again good job thank you then this one helps you keep it fully in shape in both directions here so just make like a crisscross, loosen that up a little bit. I didn't do a fantastic job of tucking all this away. So we're working on it on this side now. So we got the crisscross going there. We end up with a nice circle shape. Alrighty, so we got uh, everything ready to put away. So let's show you how to do that. First of all, Got those sticks for the solar area and the bag here has this massive pocket so put those in next up the 29 stakes put those in there then the lights and finally the repair kit so we got that, we'll Velcro it up. And I've already got the ground sheet put back in its bag and the hub inner tent put back in its bag. Okay, so now to get the tent itself back into its bag, just put it over like so and roll it in.
I'm gonna slide the ground sheet in there too. And I, I think you can put this away with the tent attached, but I just have it separate because I think I'll mainly use this as a shelter um, and then possibly use it as a tent if I want to. I can. Oh, look at that. The sun decided to come out at the end of the video. That's it, you faithful few, for the review of the Cinch Hub. I hope this was helpful for someone out there trying to look into whether or not they should get this. And uh, wait a minute, something's missing. Oh yeah, the Rugged Mountain siblings. <laughs> get over here. <laughs> we just thank you for joining us on this review. Thanks for watching and you all have, have a, a great, great day. day.